Kum Lenin Ablat Gemara, today's daf on Thursday is daf Nun Tes Ahmed Aleph, beginning from the Mishnah. The previous Mishnah we were discussing about a Koyim Godu, if he's a, if a woman was merely engaged to someone that is usher to her, um, does she forfeit her rights of Trumilot and she married to a Grusha divorcee to a Kayan or a Muda to a Kayan Gadol and she's merely engaged to her? Does that forfeit her rights of, of the Chupanat? Now we're talking about who a Kayan Gadol can marry and a Kayan Hedi can marry. So we know that a Kayan Gadol cannot marry, a Kayan Hedi cannot marry a Grusha, a widow, or a Halala. And generally, we to determine a Halala is someone that she, she lived with once even. That is, that is forbidden to her, uh, you know, or uh, anyone incest. She now is a halala, she cannot marry a coin. And a coin has additional Easter that he's not going to marry a widow. And on the positive side, he has to marry a psula. The Pasuk actually says, a woman, and the word is important because it could have just written uh, Isha. We already learned yesterday what Isha comes to include. Could have just said, Isha psula yikach. A woman who's a virgin, he should take by saying Bib Suleha. So we have two additions. The Sula could have said Sula or at least Bisuleha. So that's where the extra was that coming to teach. And then it says Bib Suleha. So Bisula would teach us one thing. Bisuleha comes to cancel that or augment that, to increase the Issa or actually to, to make something permitted. And then Bib Suleha comes to do the opposite of whatever, whatever Suleha does. Whatever Sulela that comes to Asa comes along Bipsula and comes to, but in certain cases it will, will be lenient. Or well, the other way around, if the Sulela comes to increase the Easter, Bipsula uh, Bip comes to say, but that's limited. And as we'll see in the Gemara, a Machlekes Tanaim. So the mission of Tun Tesh Amar Aleph. A coin god is Almana. A coin god will marry a widow, says Ramea bin Almana, Mina Edison, bin Almana, Mina I don't care if she became a widow, even though she's merely engaged. If she's been engaged to someone and the person died, she can no longer marry a Kayan Gadol. But Layisa es habagedis, nor should he marry a girl that's over 12 and a half years old, that's known as a begedis. A girl till 12 is Tana, between 12 and 12 and a half is a Naira, and that is like an interim period. And uh, that's the merely, that's like adolescence. And that, you know, there the, the father and the, and, and the husband have. Explain. And the Laisa Begation and Maria Begeris comes along with Abba Lazar and Rab Shimon, and they both disagree. They say, Machshin Begeris, that she can definitely marry somebody that's over 12 and a half. As long as uh, she's a Psula, you can marry someone. As long as she's never married, you marry someone over 12 and a half. Then the Mishnah says, The Laisa Esmukas eight. Nor should she marry somebody that lost her virginity via like falling on a piece of wood. And there's, um, this is added in the mission. Machlek is if this is part of the argument of Rabbi Lazar and Rabbi Shimon, or this is um, uh, only Rabbi Lazar and Shimon saying it, or this is already unanimous. Anyway, the Gemara says, about me learn, and it says in Pazik Almond, and you go, a coin godless should not marry a widow, so because it's uh, an open ended statement without any qualifications, Bain Almond and Edison, Bain Almond, so it doesn't matter whether she's a widow from engagement, it doesn't matter whether she's a widow from in marriage, um, a coin godless cannot marry her. It says, you know, what a obvious. Why, it says Almana, why would you differentiate between the two? As long as she's a widow, she's a widow. The Torah recognizes Kiddushin, so therefore now she's a widow. Now, Mao Tan would have thought, we do have the word Almana in the Torah elsewhere, and then Almana is talking about a married woman, so I would have thought whatever the Torah says, Almana is talking about a married woman, not just someone merely engaged. Where do we find Almana? Mao Tan would have Almana, Almana, Matamba, we know about the story of Tamba and Yehuda after she was married to Aid and to, and to Ain, and they both died. And uh, she was waiting now for Shalem, the whole story with Yehuda. So there the Pazik says, he said to his daughter-in-law, Shvi Almana why don't you remain here in, in your parents' house? And use the word term Almana, and she was already married. So I would have thought, oh, damn, she was married, I've come into a marriage, even engaged. Maybe taka so, maybe taka only if she's married like by Tamar. No, because Dumini uh, similar to Grusha. The Pazik says, Almana Ugrusha, the tailor said that a widow and a divorcee and a halala 
and a zayna, he shouldn't marry. So in the same posse, you have a man and grusha. And what do we know about divorce? It makes no difference whether she was divorced from marriage or from engagement. And how do we know it makes no difference? Because there's no there's no reason to think otherwise. Because we don't have any zera shava like Tama to learn it from. So doing grusha, ma grusha, being minister of marriage makes no difference if she's divorced or whether from um, from marriage or from engagement. Avaman being minister of marriage, the same thing. Man applies the same thing. Okay, then the Mishnah Yisrael goes to marry Begedis. So we have an interesting Mach like you said, Amei and Abishim Lazo, and how we analyze the word. Tell them what we learned. The Pasik says, What is demanded from a coin model? Who should he marry? Well, who he, Isha, a woman, Bipsuleha, a woman with her psulim, Yikach, he should marry. Now, it, it is, it is, so there's an extra you care at the end, there's an extra base in the beginning. So there's two additional Lamudim, and we want to come to, to uh, minimize the other. So this is how we start. Because I said Psula, um, that she has to be um, a Psula, we're going to say, Pratla Begedis comes that in itself. The fact that it says a Psula, maintain a Psula, Psula doesn't mean that she has she has to have entire virginity. Not like a girl as she gets older, she loses some of her virginity, she loses some of her hymen, she call her love Psula. Not like a girl that is over 12 and a half, which is um, where she, um, she, uh, she loses some of her virginity. And therefore, it's not included. Dibir <clears throat> Ameh. Uh, so what does it mean? In Tzadik says the psula. They argue. They say no. A is all right. Long as she had no relations, a is all right. What's going on here? What's the what's the crux of their argument? That mayor holds that three steps. Mayor says, and in certain steps he's more lenient than the Shem but in certain steps actually he's more strict. So let's start. Psula starts with I feel a mix of some. The word psula on its own would mean even if she only has partial virginity, that means even a begaris is included. A, a kain god can marry as long as she had no relations. Mashma b'sule, um, yeah, it says I feel me b'sule. Mashma. Then comes along the word b'sule ho by adding her b'sule. What do you mean? Insisting that it's not just that, that, that not whatever b'sule is. We need more than that. What do you mean more than that? Mix of b'sule is no longer enough. We need kol b'sule. No, no, we need it to be under twelve. And we need it to be under a begedis so that entire b'sule, her entire virginity is still intact. Add the ikah kol b'sule. B'sule is coming to limit, coming to asa. So it's coming to be stringent. And they need. All of Sulem to be there under Begaris. So, what do you mean, Bib Sula, as if coming to be lenient now? How about lenient? Is that what? That if she had any relations, Bikadarka, in what kind of relations would she have had that would cause her to be considered um, a Bula only if it's Kadarka, the conventional way? Abishalai Kadarka, if she had non conventional intimate relations like Ainali, Loi. That does not answer at all. So that's a leniency. So a mayor is Mahmoud that a baguette is a girl can marry, but he's makel that he could marry a girl if she had beer beforehand, but like Kedaka. He's a chumra and he's a kula. And a lot of Shimon will also have a chumra and a kula, but exactly the opposite. Those of Shimon, sorry, they hold the word b'sula, b'sula, shleim, b'sula means entire virginity. It means the baguette should be no good. But b'sula, that comes to be lenient, that what, that some of her virginity is still there, that grown up. I mean, you don't need a baguette. I feel it means b'sula. Then it says Bipsula comes to be strict. When we come to be strict, that we don't want her to have any relations. I don't care if it's a conventional way or if it's not conventional, conventional way. So that Shimon of Shimon, I'm a maker that he could marry a Bagetis, but he cannot marry a girl who had Bila, even Shalai Kedaka. I will support the opinion where it says we hold that if you boil like a dark, it's possible. In other words, like Rabbi Lozar and Rabbi Shimon, not like Rabbi Meir, it says that like a dark is permitted. <clears throat> So most of Rabbi Rabbi comes and asks a question. We have a price that seems to support Rabbi Meir. I want that to like Kedarka is permitted. How do I know that? But it says if a person, let's say, raped a girl or a person seduced a girl, the din is that he has at least he has to marry her. And when it comes to rape, I don't care if I don't care if he agrees to marry or not. He still has to pay a penalty. But when it comes to seduction, if she if he agrees to marry her, then there's no penalty. If he doesn't, then he has to pay his penalty. Commission cancelled. It says in the positive, well, Lacey Lisha, he has to marry you. Now we know the Merc, so we talk about that if it's an abated to him, he's not allowed to marry. We don't say, because we teach her to say no. But it says in the positive, Lacey Lisha, be Isha, her real, it has to be a woman that is suitable to him. So let's say we're talking about a case where the girl was a Naira on the Begueras and she was a Psula, and he was the one who caused her to no longer be a Psula. He raped her, or he seduced her. So Prat comes to, so in certain cases, because of a Lacey Lisha, has to be someone suitable. If it's unsuitable, you cannot marry her. What's considered the case unsuitable? Says the Brahisa. Prat, la Amana can go to the coin god will rape the girl. Try to imagine that the coin god will rape the girl. If the coin god will rape the girl, he um, cannot marry her because she, she's also to him. Why is she also to him? Because she's no longer Absalom. 
Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, Oh, um, let's say he was a kind head, let's say this girl happened to be a divorcee that he raped or seduced, or a chalutza, which are also to him, he raped and seduced, above them, he cannot marry. Now, what are you talking about here? He went ahead, and he had relations with her kedarka. Now, let's focus on the kind gadol. What's the issue with the kind gadol? Okay, she was a widow. The problem is only that she was a widow. And because she was a widow prior to that, he cannot marry her. So let's understand what's going on here. If we're talking about Bikidarka, that he raped her in the conventional way, then forget the fact that she's a widow. And let's say she wouldn't have been a widow. Still forbidden to him, because now you want to marry her, but she's no longer Absula. And the trader said that Kangal is only marry Absula. What's the relevance of the widow here? Elam of Bikidarka, the conventional way, my idiom is Shumamana. Why is the issue only because of a widow? Table Lemish shouldn't have the bullet. She's a bullet. Let's say she wouldn't have been a widow. Still, a Kangal, if he would have raped a girl, a Naira, and or Tana. He cannot marry her because she's no longer a bsula. She's now a bula because he raped her the conventional way. So there's only one possible way of learning. He did a non-conventional way. He was a non-conventional way. So as far as bsula is concerned, it's still good enough because we follow Rame Dalok, like Rame, it seems like we follow Rame that supports Rame Lawad, that's like a it is a mutter. You know why in this case, the Kohen Gold cannot marry her because she's a widow. So it's a kasher on that, who, um, who said, you know, that's if it's like a it's still also, Sumo says, what's the problem? The author of this brace, Haman, you don't know, Taki, you're right. The author of this brace is a maid who says that Shalik Kedaka is permitted. So why can't the Kohen God live with this woman? Because she was a widow. But Rabbi Huda Marav basically passed like Rabbi Shimon and Rabbi Loza, who hold that Shalik Kedaka is also awesome. simple as that. So you remember, Rabbi Omak Rabbi Loza. Well, it's not so simple. Why is it not so simple? If we eat the Rabbi Loza, if we follow Rabbi Loza, and it seems that what if we're following Rabbi Loza and the halach is like Rabbi Meir, that means he's basically explaining Rabbi Loza's opinion, so then you have to follow Rabbi Loza through. And Rabbi Loza holds, in other respects, Rabbi Loza holds that uh, in order to qualify someone to be a zayna, so we generally say that she lived one night with someone that is us with her. So she becomes a zayna, with their mom's letters, and so on. Um, with a guy, yet um, um, Rabbi Loza goes a step further. He says, even a pony, a boy, a pony, no isa was done. A pony, a boy, a pony, he said, then you, I, that, that, that it's enough of an isa to turn her into a zaina, even though they're both a bachelor and she was a bachelorette. There were not, there were no ties whatsoever, there's no incest, no, no, no other isa. That's enough to render her a zaina, and it's inappropriate for a client to marry her. So, look, I, um, the is my idea. So then, why is the problem here? Because a bull um, is telling me that the problem here is okay. And I'm saying, if I'm saying, according to Rabbi, according to Rabbi Loza, the problem is not a The problem is bull. Forget about the problem being bull, which is only not saying. It goes further. It's a lavia. The lavia is of zayna. The pasuk says that I'm that I'm the grusha and the halal and the zayna. He's not allowed to take, which is much stronger than a bull, which is absolutely shakei. So why are you limiting it to bull? Say that she's a zayna. Amr al he says, no, it's possible that she could be a Ba'ul and not a Zayna, even according to Rabbi Loza. How was that? If she had, if she committed bestiality, so she's no longer a, a, a Psula, but a Zayna she's not. I will see the more soon that uh, an animal does not make a woman a Zayna. The Hasim, like there's only Ba'ula, there's no Zayna whatsoever. But there's no there's no by Bahama. Amla by by said, I don't understand. I don't understand yet. The same with two. If you're going to recognize the, the activity of bestiality that turns her into a bull, um, no, so then she's also Zaina, according to Rabbi Loza. And he's Zaina Lahab, he will never have. I don't understand the difference. The Chitaim, if you're going to tell me that no, me did the have if you can tell you no, if you're going to tell me that with an animal, an accident, it should not be a bull, and she should be able to live with a kai, God will. The Chitaim, if you're going to tell me, me the Havi and Mukas 8, you tell me it's very similar to a Mukas 8. Shalai Kedark, in our Mishnah, Rabbi Lozan of Shimbo said that you're not allowed to marry a girl, that even though there was no knows noose or anything else, there's no relations, if it was just, you know, just because of him, uh, him that she lost the dignity because of a piece of wood. That is enough to say that a kind God should marry. So here we have an example, we can be a bula, treating a mukha's age like a dark, like a bula, and yet you're not a zayna. Uh, if you want to say, like a like a dark, um, so even though it's like a dark, so there's mamish nothing here, and yet a kind God cannot marry her, and therefore you're not a zayna in Canaan. So ain't lach isha shikshel kuna. Based on that, if you're going to tell me that even shalay kedarka, well, it's not amukas eitz kedarka, 
But a mukhis eight shall like a dark renders a woman possible kind godl. How can go matter anybody because when they used to wipe themselves, they didn't use tissue paper, they used to use little pebbles, and definitely you would have shall like a darker. It would have um, it would have been like a beal, shall like a darker, like a mukhis eight shall like a darker. Uh you can't ain't look each shake good and last mukhis eights. How you dates right through the pebbles they used to clean themselves. So how can you just tell me about that a, a case that you be a baula and yet not a um zayna I'll tell you a case. I'll give you a case where you can be a baula and not a zayna. And that's why Rav says we're talking about a baula here and not a zayna, even according to Rav Lazen. How is that? Then Mam Ennis, a young girl who turned who said no. Um, and, we're, and we're talking about now remember she's a baula, but she'll like it darker because if it's um um and she's not a zayna at all. Um, for example, she got married very young, um, but by her sister, by her brother, to a man, and they only had non-conventional relations. So therefore, she was only Shaloi Kedarka, but she's not a divorcee. She's not she's not a Zaina because she did it via marriage, and she's not a divorcee. She's not a widow because she was never married, because she's still immune. Retrospectively, nothing ever happened. <clears throat> so therefore, it's a possibility. So there's no Zanus over here. And um or mono or gadish and her ass. And yet this puzzle as Bu'ula. So here we have a case of Bu'ula with Al Zaina. And Bu'ula is even like a darker. So here you have a case of Bu'ula, she like a darker. She had continuously relations with like a darker. So and, and she's not a Zaina, she's not a mono and a grusha, and it's also to a coin god. Tanya Mach, we take a learn, Nibla. Um, that we learned, let's say she had relations to a bestiality. Alpha Pisha big skill. If there were witnesses there, she'll get stoned. Is um, and if there were no witnesses there, Kuna, she can live with a coin. Why? Even though she's a bula, since um, since it's um, it's uh, what do you call it? It's not a zayna. So she's mutter to a coin. She's not a zayna whatsoever. She's mutter to a coin. Yeah, so Zigmar actually had a similar story, and that is, <clears throat> so, so therefore, if you hold, our mission says you cannot marry a Mukasei, Sataka, you cannot marry a Kohen God either, even though you might treat it as a Mukasei, but those Tanayim will argue. So we learn like those who learn, they learn the mission is part of the argument, that the last part of the mission is part of the argument. Those Tanayim hold that Mukasei, you're allowed to marry a Kohen God, you're allowed to marry a Kohen God to a woman who has bestiality. Says the Gemara, he also did me on a mice to talk a story. But you ask that woman, be hisle in town, hisle, she hoist him a chabed is a A terrible tragedy happened. She was cleaning her house, but Rabba, Kelly, Kufi. This is wild hunting dog that was in the house. I came along behind her, came along behind her and raped her. That you can marry even a coin goddle. Why? Because it's not considered nus. And it's, it's only a mukas eight. It's not considered best. It's not even considered bull. It's only a mukas eight. And since it was so like it, I can it permitted. How much more is more? Will a coin goddle and a coin goddle be made every coin goddle may have it? And Shmuel said he's even permitted the coin god in the times of Rebbe, who worked with it was hundreds of years after Khurbes and Migdish. A Luril coin god was even suitable for a coin god because if nothing happened. So the Gemara. Um... <clears throat> okay, and the reason why we're saying that it's like Kedarka is because had it been Kedarka, it would be like a Mukhazaitz. And a Mukhazaitz would learn the mission a lot. So this is well, it's like Kedarka completely. So I'm later on the Pig Little Mashi, even on Milsa. How do we talk and all over the money? How do you know this goes by Bahama? You tell me, bestiality is not considered a Zaina. How do we know? Because it says in the past, it follows. Certain Kabbalists are not inappropriate to bring to the base of media. It's totally disrespectful. For example, they saw you should not bring Esnan Zaina if you paid a tribute to a, uh, to a harlot. That what you gave her in, in exchange of the act is mis, and it should not be brought in the mizbech or mechir kelev. If you swap a sheep for a dog, that's also mis. The fact that you that you're being swapped and then the valuation is like of a dog, which is tame, and therefore you cannot bring that on mizbech. Okay, Tanan comes along with the Mishnah. Um, uh, what about the reverse? Osnan, what about the following case? Well, let's say Osnan Kelev. You say to Ozoin, I want you to have bestiality with my dog and I'll give you a present. So this is an exchange of a Kelev. This is not recorded because we are going to say that bestiality is not considered as nus. So the animal that you gave her as a present is not considered an exchange of as nus. And therefore you could bring it on the back. 
if you swap her value for a, for a, not the act, but her value for a, a sheep, let's say those two cases, are permitted to be run by him, though you would think it's inappropriate. And it says, Igam Shneim, only those two cases, Shneim Rabbo, only two cases and not four cases. That's how we know. Tell them what we learned. In the discussion, Anusas Atzmai Umefutas Atzmai. So if a kind of goes ahead and he uh, rapes a girl or he seduces a girl, Loisa, he should not marry her right now. Why? Because she's no longer a, a Sula, even though you're the one who caused it. But if he not, if you're married, it sounds like from here that he should stay married. What about Nusas Chaveda? If someone else raped this girl, so by the time you have a relationship with this girl, she's already no longer a Sula. Or is this is by another person. Laisa should marry. If he did marry, Belazer ben Yaakov. Belazer ben Yaakov says have lot chol. Belazer ben Yaakov said the child is considered chol because that woman now is considered chalol. The coin should be married and the child chalol. And the chom say have lot kosher. Why will soon see nigmaru? So now the more explain. It says imnasa nasi. The coin godel should not marry the woman that he raped. But if he did, he can. He stays married. The question is, Omer Abu Nomer Ab. Can he really stay married? It's, it's awesome. It says, Umaytzi beget. Bigamoda says he has to actually, do, what do you mean he married her? He has to give her a divorce. So I, the obvious question is, so what do you mean he says, Nossa, Nossa, he's not married, he has to give her a get. Machlek is a shame if he has to give her a get, Midrabanon, or he has to give her a get, Mahatayda. But it says they're married, they are married. You know what it means if you're married, marry. What did he achieve by getting married? Um, even though um, he shouldn't have married her because he's a psula. But now that he married her, he gives her a gift. So what did he achieve by marrying her? She ain't Michelle and class of foot. In the case of a rape, I don't care if you marry her, you still have to pay her. But in the case of seduction, if you marry her, you don't have to pay her. And this extent, even though you're going to give her the divorce five minutes later, it's as if you married her, and therefore you don't have to um, pay the class. The place already asks, so what's, what's the difference? We have to give her a ksuba. So what do you, what's in my life community, call it label knas, label ksuba, what's the difference? First of all, difficult to answer this question, ksuba is more money than a knas. So, uh, okay, but maybe he's asking something about that he gained something, he didn't gain anything. So let's get a few answers. Either she was meichel, let's say uh, she was meichel ksuba, a woman can be meichel ksuba, but the knas is something you can be meichel, so therefore she has to, um, so that's the difference, if you pay the knas or you don't have to pay the knas. Another difference would be is what kind of, you know, the assets that you have to use in lieu. So even, you know, when it comes to class, the assets that you have to use in lieu is, is, um, is idiots. You know, we have idiots, bainers, and the Buddhists, the best of your fields for class. When it comes to uh, ksuba, we look at more ksubas that you, you can pay from the Buddhists. And where we'll come in the beginning, you can pay from the Buddhists, from the weakest category of class. Another thing is also a ksuba is only Madurabhan. And that has consequences as well. Setting one further, further, also that I'll give you a bit of castle, and I'll give you the city of castle came. Umbra, the Shmite repeated Kamirabashi, Umbra, he said, but I'll be echelon and the Rav and the Rabbi Echelon, the Amri Tavayu, Rav and Rabbi Echelon both said, no, but he repeated what Abhuna said that if the coin God will marry her, he has to give a divorce straight away. He, so um, Rabashi said, I don't understand. And Rav and Rabbi Echelon both said, a boy get his umuka says, Lisa, a coin God will not marry a girl, even though she's a virgin, if she's a boy get his over 12 and a half, or she was um, lost some virginity through a piece of wood. Uh, but if they are married, if they are married, then it is married. And what's the logic of that? If they're married, they're married. And no, we don't tell them to get a divorce. The logic is that if, if once he marries her, the next night, they're no longer absolute. And that's how marriage is. There's no way the trader wants to live only one night and then go and then and divorce her. So obviously, Ultimately, she will no longer be absula. So therefore, Khatkhil should be absula. But if it isn't, might as well stay because anyway, that's gonna ha- that's gonna happen. Alma Saifali Bagadis Tahta says the end ultimately she'll become a Bagadis anyway. Saifali Mukase she'll grow up. And Saifali Mukai Tahta, even if you marry her 12 years old, eventually she'll be 12 and a half. And Saif it'll be Mukai Tahta, but anyway, she'll lose virginity. So the Khaida uh Khanami Sabi Bil Tahta, the same over here if he raped her. What's the difference if it's one more step? But the fact is, why does he have to divorce her? Why can't he stay married to her anyway? Ultimately, she's going to become a, 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 a begetter, so she'll become a mukazate. So why can't he remain married? Kasha. In logic, it's difficult to understand. But the, the, why take you have to um, divorce, according to Ravuna? True, you shouldn't have married in the first place, because, I just, because we wanted the first relation should be as a psula. And, what, and when he raped her, he wasn't shim kedushin. But now that he did, 
why can't you stay married? Next part was, I know Zahavayim will come to me, the distinction between your own or whether someone else raped or someone else seduced her. There he said, well, you should marry him. And if he did marry, he had a machlik, whether the child is a chol or not. He knows that Abelazim Yaakov says, Abelazim Yaakov says, Abelazim Yaakov says, the child is a chol. Because when you raped her, you turned into chololim, and therefore, um, can, uh, and the child will be chol. Chacham say, have a lot of kosher. We're talking about, if not you, somebody, somebody, if your friend raped her, she's now a chalala, and therefore you shouldn't be marrying a kohen gadol, and the child is a, is a, is a, a chal. And, and the chum say, no, I'm going to have a lochir, 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 the child is a chal. You can have another version, I'm going to have a lochir, I'm going to have another version, 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 I'm going that why is she a chalala? Someone else raped her, but she was a single girl because he holds like Rabbi Loza that a ponui, a bo, a ponui, that even a single girl and a single guy, if they have a relation outside of marriage, she becomes a chalala. Um, and she and therefore she becomes a zaina, and a koyin is not allowed to marry a zaina. And if he does, the children are chalalim, um, because it's a love to him to marry a zaina. So, um, so that's that's a large reason why the children are chalalim because of the ponui, because she's a zaina. How can then we pass can like a blazer and Yaakov? And we learned before Yaakov, that Allah is always like him, which means that that Allah should be like a blazer, that the pony, but the is that she's a zain and the blazer of Chol. When you know that's how Allah is like him, we saw Yaakov coming out to feel the bar. In this case, Amr Abba, Amr Abba, ain't Allah get a blazer. Allah is definitely like a blazer and the pony, but the pony does not turn her into a zain and a coin can't marry her unless she lived with somebody that is, is, is in sin. That she should not allow uh, someone that she would never be able to marry, like a girl, you're a mom's and so on. It's not It's not kasha. And we'll learn tomorrow another way of understanding the machlekes of Rabbi Lezim and Yaakov and the Chacham. Have a good day, everyone.